Hello again, my crafty friends, and welcome back to my channel. And the second part of putting my sheet load of cards together for the September 2021 card sketch. And I'm doing it in 10 minute segments. I have a timer and I stick to that and see how much we can get done to show you how much you can get done in 10 minutes. We all don't have two or three hours to spend in the craft room. So let's just concentrate on that 10 minute bit. All right. So here is the card sketch itself. Here's what the card will look like and the cutting guide. And last time we went ahead and put on these pieces, we stamped it. <clears throat> They're gonna be birthday cards. I'm using two 12 by 12 pieces out of the Gone Camping set from Cartabella. And we left off. I had just got done putting those burnt orange cardstock pieces on the flowers. And we're gonna be doing that for all six pieces here, the bigger pieces. So let's get started. Ten minutes on the clock, and away we go. I think I had just ended up putting one piece on the second piece, so let's continue. And I will remember to put the actual snail on this piece. a little bit too big. I want just at the edge peeking out here. So we are going to have a little bit of dimension there, the bump, but that's okay. turn it around to line it up just right. There we go. We'll be making some more cards from the Gone Camping paper. Just kind of mix and match using what pieces I have. And that will come a little bit later. Not directly after this series, but a little bit later. Okay, now we're gonna work on these. This is a real pretty uh, buffalo check plaid, however you wanna call it. And as soon as we get these done, we can concentrate on putting the card fronts together. Look at these old school trailers, isn't that cool? Campers, trailers. <laughs> now they cost a fortune, <laughs> right? OK, 
Okay, we are almost done with this. Now these are not gonna be precisely even, of course. Homemade, not Hallmark. Homemade, not Hallmark. Okay. Going back to what I was saying the other day about the generous cuts. You gotta be careful or else you, you'll just be off a smidgen and I think I am here. I have my trimmer today, but let me show you what I mean. See, so if I get on the two, you can either get right on it or right behind it, just a hair. And that way you have, when you cut four or five pieces, you're going to end up with that little bit of extra at the end. It's very, very slight. Okay, so we're, we're done with that. Let's go ahead and stamp the inside of the cards first before we put them together. And, and here's the one I will be using. Here's to another year full of adventures. Now, like I said, I think that's appropriate because this is gone camping. There's lots of adventures when we go camping. All right, let me get out my bigger. This is a homemade one that I had done at a plastics company. Okay. And we had, what color was it? Island Indigo. There we go. Now, because this is so big, I'm going to take the ink to the stamp. If it'll stay in place. No, let's not press it too hard. And see what we got. There we go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. I like the font on this. Very cool. I haven't used it very much. You can probably tell by looking at it. I think the last time I used it was for a birthday card for my daughter. A few, quite a few years, not quite a few, several. I've been crafting for five years, so I know it's since, since then, excuse me. Oh, here comes the train. It wouldn't be a proper video without the train, would it? Or the gardeners. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. There we go. Okay, got them all stamped. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> We're down to the wire. Down to the wire. Okay. Cancel. All right. Okay. Well, this is how we would start putting these on. They're going to go all the way across the card. Like so. And then this one, like so. And then the bottom piece. So we will finish that up next time and hopefully get this piece on too. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.